Hey everybody, I'm coming at you with another episode of some interesting things that I have had happen to me while abroad, which includes a little lesson to be learned and what not to do next time you go away. This week I'm talking about that time I got water poisoning in Africa. is actually one of my oldest stories. The reason why I'm bringing it up is because it has to do with being aware of what you're consuming. <laughs> Super important. I know this has a lot to do with a lot of things you can get while abroad, but here it goes. So what happened to me while I was there? Well, I was volunteering in a reserve there. Myself and a bunch of other volunteers decided to go to Kruger National Park. So we stayed at a hostel just sort of outside the park, uh, one of the park gates. The park is massive. So I mean, there's tons of entrances, but anyways, so we're staying at this hostel. And while we were on the reserve, we were kind of just drinking the water that was available through our like taps because it was fine to drink there. Now, what I just forgot about because we had already been there for so long was that you can't just go drinking any water anywhere. When you are from another place, the bacteria and everything that's in your gut is not equivalent to the type of bacteria that you might find in other places, which is why we are a little bit more susceptible to getting ill depending on where you are and what's in the water. Basically, drank the water there for a few days, as did some other volunteers, but I happened to be the one who got sick first. So what happened to me, I just was so nauseous and was vomiting a lot. The funny part about this story was, I think in one day I vomited probably like, it had to be close to 10 times, or at least it felt like 10 times. I don't know, maybe uh, one of my friends who might be watching this can let me know and remind me how many times it was that I puked uh, on the drive, but any which way. <laughs> so basically I got really sick and the problem, what I think was any time that we would stop the car to look at an animal that we saw in the park, that change of motion. So my stomach was used to the constant motion of the car and then we stopped. So I was at a dead stop and then that somehow turned my stomach and almost instantly I was like, I got to vomit. It was kind of like the running joke that I was puking in front of the rhinos because we had seen so many rhinos that, that one day and every time we stopped to look, I would have to belt open the door and release my innards. Not so great considering that a few times it was probably a little bit too close for comfort. Like, you know, anywhere between 50 to 100 meters is just too close for me for an animal of that size and with that kind of potential don't want that to happen. So yes, it was kind of unfortunate that I was that ill for a few days there, but it was fine. I ended up being fine in the end, potentially better than some of the other volunteers. There was a few other people that got it up, out the other end instead, but we realized it was all probably from that water. What's to learn from this, guys? Obviously, be careful about your water. Now, I'm kind of anti-water bottle in general. I just don't think it's right to be using up all that plastic when you don't really need to. But that being said, if you're somewhere new and it's, you know, in that moment and you're not sure about the water, if you can't ask anyone or get someone to give you some more information, then opting for a bottle of water is a better idea. What can you do if you don't want to buy the bottle of water? There are certain things you can get. And then actually I have a good thing I'm going to show you. I had these, oh my God, they're not even expired guys. <laughs> A lot of the stuff in this in this bag uh, that I have here is expired, but these water tablets that I have expire in 2022. So these I've actually used while I was in Nepal and I had them for while I was trucking because we were going through a lot of really, really small villages. They had taps where you could refill your water, but a lot of them were kind of sketched. So most of the time you'd want to use one of these. This is also a good option if you're somewhere where you're unsure. I think it's just chlorine tablets in it, I believe. Yes, might be something else that I can't read, but um, these chlorine tablets will help clean that out. And so hopefully won't get sick drinking it. People also travel with some kind of filter sometimes. You could, I guess, get something like that if you really want. Another thing that I've done, which may or may not work depending on what the water is. But like I said, just always ask someone if you can. But I'm mentioning this because while I was in Nepal, I was staying in this village and the water that they had available from their spring was clean. And there were 
other foreigners that were volunteering with me that were able to drink it. But I was post deli belly and my stomach was really sensitive. Their clean water, I had to actually boil it before I drank it all the time. Otherwise, I started to get sick. So that's something else you can consider is boiling your water first if you're unsure too. That will probably also help. But all in all, just be careful what you drink. If you're unsure, ask someone if you need to get bottled water. But again, I don't like to do that. I know people like are very bottled water when they go away, but I'm not you can take that as you wish, but watch your symptoms always. So if you do get sick from something like that, just watch your symptoms in case something becomes more severe. Again, get help if you need it and always eat and drink appropriately. When I was talking about the diarrhea from the lentil soup a few episodes ago, I did say, you know, starchy foods are good if you're having lots of diarrhea. Um, the rehydration salts are also important if you're vomiting a lot. So again, that's something you can also get to make sure that you're replenishing your body if you're ill. All that said, I hope you found my story funny. Um, puking in front of rhinos was not exactly how I wanted to spend <laughs> those few days in Kruger Park, but damn, it was still an awesome trip regardless. I thought it would be, be interesting to share that story and give you a little bit more practical advice on what to do and not to do. If you like the story, please subscribe. There is one more story sort of similar like this about some personal stuff that I went through that I'll be sharing and then I'm going to move on to some other stuff, but please subscribe if you like this story. There's more. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an awesome week. See you next time.